Let's calculate the consumer surplus and producer surplus in this video. So recall we found the price on the market, we found the quantity on the market. So to find out what we want, we need to graph this because that's going to be the easiest way to do it. And we also need the functions of the demand and the supply for the entire market because we're looking for the producer and consumer surplus in the entire market. We have the demand function here. We found out the supply function over here and now we're going to plot them. So let's do it here to the right. We're going to have the price and quantity graph. So price quantity. Now what we want is the demand function first, which starts with an intercept of 10, 10. And we have a slope of two over a thousand. So minus two over a thousand. That's going to be a pretty flat slope. Of course, it's not going to be accurate at all on this graph, but we're just trying to show that this is going to be quite flat. This is going to be our demand. Now we're going to have a supply, a supply curve, which is four plus one over a thousand times the quantity supplied. We can see that the slope is going to be one over a thousand with a positive sign starting at an intercept of four. So we're going to have four over here with an upward slope, which is also going to be pretty flat. So something like that, that's going to be our supply. And we know that at the equilibrium at the intersection of the two, we have 2000 units sold on the market at the price of six. So we're going to have the price of six. Now, graphically, it's quite easy to understand what's going to be the consumer surplus. That's going to be the difference between the willingness to pay on the demand curve and the price on the market. That's going to be our consumer surplus. Let's calculate it right away. So the consumer surplus is an area of a triangle, meaning we have a half times the height, which is 10 minus six, 10 minus six times the length, which is 2000 minus zero. So times 2000 minus zero. If we work out the math here, we'll have 2000 times four. That's going to be 8000 divided by two. That's going to be 4000 worth 4000. Let's call them dollars worth of value to the consumers. Now, if we calculated the producer surplus going to be the difference between the supply curve, which is the marginal cost curve over here and the price on the market. So that's going to be the markup that we have to the to the producers. And for the entire market, this will be the producer surplus will be equal to one over two again, because it's a triangle times the height, which is six minus four and the length 2000 minus zero, because again, it's for the 2000 units that we're selling 2000 times two, 4000 divided by two, that's going to be $2,000 worth of value to the producers. And yeah, that's it. The producer surplus 2000, the consumer surplus 4000 and we are done.